Uh, Doc, congrats on the win tonight. Uh, you had three players score uh, 30 plus points tonight's franchise. What do you make of this, uh, making history tonight? Well, we should have made the history the other way too with the, with the points. I, have we ever won a game where the other team scored 50, shot 57 percent? You know, and 132 points. I'm more upset at that than happy about uh, that because that's back-to-back games. Defensive, we got to be a little bit better. But I, I loved our resolve. I loved how we. We got down early um, and, and made a run. Lou and, and Trez uh, were fantastic. Uh, and then I thought, you know, that second quarter defensively, it was the only good defensive quarter. I thought it was the difference in the game. But the history is good, I guess, you know. You know, somebody's got to make it, so. What's What's gone so wrong defensively the last two games? Don't know. Um, you got to watch the film, and I'll, I'll try to figure it out. But, um you know, we're a good defensive team, and we just haven't been lately, so uh, it's, it's fixable. Um, Doc, can you speak about um, Trey's performance uh, today? Yeah, he was uh, great. Just, you know, I feel like he kind of gave you the energy when you guys didn't have it there in that um, first half. He was phenomenal, you know. Um, you know, he, he, he scored a lot on, on post-ups, too. It wasn't just, you know, I think a lot of people think Trez only scores through pick and rolls with Lou, and tonight we were just calling C5 and going right to him, and you know, it just tells you how much work he's put into the game. Uh, he, he's been absolutely wonderful in that department. Um, I thought down the stretch he made three or four great passes uh, that led to threes, you know, um, and that's that's the evolution of, of Trez, and it's been great. Talk when, when Paul picked up that fifth foul, you guys seemed to be talking to one another. What yeah. went into leaving him in? Yeah, it was stupid. It was back. It, was, it really was, it was terrible coaching. Um, like, you got to take him out. Um, you know, some guys you can trust. I told him after the game, now I know who I can't trust. You know, that was a freaky play though, that six foul. So, uh, but that's probably why you take him out, uh, to be honest. We had a lead and I looked at the clock, but we had drawn up a play for him that we thought we were going to get a three, which when you watch the action, the collision would have, he would have, he'd have been open at least. Uh, but, you know, the four, the, the fourth, the, the fifth foul is the one that, that created the six foul, and we had just told him, you know, pull your hands back, and you know that's the foul that hurt us. Doc, early in the season, even though the offense wasn't, um, you know, scoring at a high pace, mm-hmm. the defense was getting it done. Yeah. Now it seems like the offense is rolling, but the defense isn't. Yeah. How do you look at those? Do you, are you okay with with wins where the offense gets it done, but the defense doesn't? Or? Oh no, I'm okay with wins. You know, I've never never complained about a win. Um, but you also look at the long picture instead of just the, the now. I, and you know you can't win that way a lot. You know uh, you can win a game with bad offense and great defense. You're not you're not going to win a lot of games with bad defense. You know be, because the other team usually guards you back. Uh, tonight uh, we caught fire as well. You know uh, two teams, fifty seven percent, fifty four percent. You know either the offense was phenomenal tonight or both teams struggled defensively. The players will tell you the first. The coaches will tell you the second. The way it works. Doc, what did it mean to have Pat back out there? It was great. His energy, his defense, um, you know, his instigation. <laughs> I'm, uh, like he instigated a, a tech. <laughs> you know, it's just what he does. It's, uh, it's Pat being Pat, you know. You think about those little plays like that, it, it, it creates wins. So he was fantastic. It was better. We needed that, though. Like, Pat's the one guy, you know, he's not a pure point guard, but he's doing his best. And overall, he's been very good for us. And he's the one guy that knows what we want to run the most. Um, and I told him after the game, I thought he called a great game. Like, you know, it's, it's, it was like a catcher tonight. Like, I thought every play that he called was the right play. Uh, and so I was very, I was like proud of him tonight because that's a, that's a big step for him where he came down and he was making calls tonight. That's the, that hasn't happened. That's something we need. Uh, and, um, that was, that was very nice to see. You'll, uh, I'm sure recall the era in the NBA when teams were scoring 70, 80 points oftentimes. It was and beautiful. Winning. What do you think of t- tonight? You had 130 plus. It was, it was beautiful. We won. You know, either way, I, I never cared about, you know, I was obviously part of the the, um, the slow ball era. I mean, I, I was on that Nick team that um, we probably changed more rules than any team in NBA history, us and the Pistons back then. Um, but the games are still close. 
you know, and at the end of the day, fans like close games, you know. Um, I do think the the shooting and the skill is so so much higher now, uh, for whatever reason. Um, and then the rules have changed, which allows scoring. So I don't know which one I like more. I just like good basketball. Uh, Doc, you said uh, Pat was like a ca- uh, catcher tonight, mm-hmm. and he was calling plays. You, you feel like he was calling plays the right place since he was simply he was sitting out a couple games and looking at the game differently? No, yeah, we're doing a lot of things. We're giving him a, a play sheet, you know, um, before, and we leave it out so he can stare at him, you know, doing every timeout. You can see him grabbing it, and, and he's just he's really trying to do this and, and be good at it, you know. The, I've done it to two guards where I've actually given them my play sheet, and, um, you know, it's Chris and, and Rondo. Other than that, I'm, I don't give anybody else that sheet because they can't handle it. <laughs> you, you know, and, uh, you know, we're starting to slowly add things to that sheet for Pat, and he's getting better and better at it. It's been very good for him. Did you ask for the sheet? Uh, we, we, we told him we wanted to do it, and he loved it. So, Right over here. Um, after the first quarter, you were down by 16. What was the discussion in the huddle after that? Uh, guard someone. You know, uh, let's get better defensively. Let's play harder. Uh, you know, the typical coach speak. Honestly, it wasn't – Anything earth shattering except for we got into the ball and we, we just played harder, you know, and we played at a better pace. In reference to that coach sheet, Doc. Who won the football games today? New Orleans lost. Yeah, the Seahawks, it was going to halftime. Lynch score. Wow. So, in, in Excuse reference, me, I just needed to know that. All right, I'm it's sorry. okay. Priorities, I got that it. That is a priority. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. In reference to that coach sheet that you spoke about, you said a few weeks ago that you feel better. The team, you feel the team was doing better and flowing better when you're calling less plays. Yeah. Where are you now? Are you calling less plays? Are you yeah, that's, more what, up to that's the what we're trying to accomplish. You know, it's tough when you're taking the ball out, pushing up the floor, and, and you have to look all the way over to me. You know, that, that kills your pace. And so when your your team can just run it and get it down and start get into a set at 18, it makes a big difference. And that's what we're starting to do, you know, uh, and it's been good. This weekend, it just been, seems like there's been some wild swings offensively and defensively, great moments and poor moments. And you mentioned yesterday you didn't feel like – um, Has there been any swings defensively? In a good way that I second know about. Quarters, Second quarter, yeah, at 19 points, points today. Yeah, the other day. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Um, and you mentioned yesterday, that since Christmas, you really felt like you hasn't been all that consistent. I guess no. night to night right now, do you, what do you feel like you know you can get out of your guys that you can really bank on? Uh, I don't. You know, I know we're going to be in the game. Like, uh, no matter if we play good D or good bait or bad or offense, I feel like every night we have a chance to win. That's something you know. That's a comfort. Uh, but I also know that uh, we have to do things better. Uh, we need to get in the gym. Uh, we're going to have that opportunity this week, you know. <laughs> We have four days off, you know. That's longer than the all-star breaks that I used to have as a player, you know. Um, so we're going to take advantage of a couple of those days. Um, Doc, Paul uh, came came back, to, obviously, t- tonight as well. Mm-hmm. How is it when he's able to come back, his game is just so smooth? Like, it, like there's no rust. And I, I understand he didn't miss a lot of time, but it's just yeah. like there's – it looked like he'd, he played yesterday. I, I honestly don't know the answer. I think that's abnormal. Um, no, but he keeps doing it, you know. But I do think that's – I don't – you don't see that very often. Um, he He's done it, and I love it. I don't want it because I don't know why, but it's been great. Is this about as good as Jermichael's look since coming back from his injury? Yeah, he's playing great, you know, um, on both ends and doing a lot of things. So he's been really good. Um, just following up on the play sheet, why now and why Patrick? Well, Pat's a point guard, you know, so um, I just think it's time for him. You know, he's been with me for a year, really, because the first year he was hurt. Um, I think he gets me, you know, and what I what I see a little bit. Uh, we'll have our own discussions about that at times. Uh, and I just think it's time for him, and he's, and he's really taking it, he's taking it and doing it. So that's going to help us in the long run, the better he can get at it. All right, one more. <laughs> to, you guys have there, a lot of they, you know what I know what you're doing. You have to stay for the next game, so you're stalling. <laughs> but I don't. Last one. So I'm going. I'm going to dinner in like two minutes. I'm telling you right now. I should just let you go. Thank uh, you. Just in the first quarter, when when things are going, you know, the wrong way. I mean, is there anxiety building? Are you like, are we? Anger. I don't know about anxiety. No. You know, not really. Like, um, I didn't. You know, as far as 
think we're going to win the game or something. No, I don't even think that far ahead. I just knew we wasn't doing what we're supposed to do. Uh, and and we had to remind them of that. So, All right, guys, enjoy. Enjoy that next game. <laughs>